Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Three Buck Theater. And you know, everything these days has to be a cinematic universe, right? Everything has to be a cinematic universe, right? We've got the Marvel Cinematic Universe. We've got Star Wars. They're working on Transformers. They're working on Robin Hood, Jason Bourne, a whole bunch of other other properties are doing it as well. But Call of Duty, the video game series that sold who knows how many copies, but a lot, is currently talking about the same damn thing. And actually, I'm kind of excited about this, to be honest with you guys. Now, I've been playing Call of Duty franchises for over a decade, right? And I, I do enjoy the single player campaigns on practically all of them. It's the multiplayer side of it that started to feel stale and long in the tooth for me, but the single player is actually one of the reasons why I've been coming back. But as we've learned over the course of the past couple years, uh, the, the overall sales for the game, while still profitable, are not as massive as they once were. Fans have been moving on, and it might just be because there is one new game a year, and it's coming from different studios every three years. So while that was meant to be this fresh take on it, it feels kind of more like a chore now to get into Call of Duty, and that's mostly only because your friends are doing it, right? At least that's why I, I got it. Even though the single player was fun, I still feel like I'm kind of like I'm kind of obligated to play the multiplayer with my friends, even though I, I don't really find it to be that entertaining anymore. But the idea of a cinematic universe is one that I'm actually behind because the stories that, that the Call of Duty franchise tells are actually pretty dope, right? They're very grand in scale and huge in scope, and, and they take on different themes and they try different things. And I'm actually on board with that, uh, to be perfectly honest with you guys. Now, speaking with The Guardian, co-presidents of Activision Blizzard Studios, Stacey Schur and Nick Van Dyke, talked about their plans for the franchise and reiterated that uh, that this could see its very first film coming out in early uh, or as early as 2018. Now, it, it's, you know, we're four months in, we're a quarter of the way in, or a, a third of the way in to 2017 right now, and nothing's been talked about. No script, no director, no production. So seeing something come together this year, materialize this year, is probably not going to happen. But who knows? Anything could. So we maybe won't see anything until towards the end of the year. But you know what? This, this is what Stacey Schur has to say. She says, we have plotted out many years. We put together this group of writers to talk about where we're going. There will be a film that feels more like Black Ops, the story behind the story. The Modern Warfare series looks like it would be like to fight a war with the eyes of the world on you. And then maybe something that is more of a hybrid, where you are looking at a private covert operations while a public operation is going on. And all three of those concepts are pretty cool. Right, And they feel very Call of Duty-like, especially if they were to turn the Modern Warfare series into a film franchise. Now, would they do straight adaptations of Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3? Probably not. They probably wouldn't because some of those are going to be harder to do, but they might do something that is in the same vein as them. Maybe bring over some of the same characters, but kind of tweak the story. Uh, so on and so forth. Same with Black Ops. Black Ops feeling like is set, you know, kind of back in time, like back in the, the 80s with Black Ops 2 and everything else. And it wasn't until, oh no, sorry, the first Black Ops, I think, was in the 80s and the second one. No, second one jumped in between, if I remember correctly, because that was a whole like Ollie North thing and whatever else. Um, but there's a lot there that, you know, the, the, the covert operation side of things that could work as well. And as I pointed out earlier, you know, with the declining sales year after year, they are going to need a way to tie it all together to keep the fans coming back together. So I wouldn't be surprised if if what they decided to do, and this would be very fascinating and be very interesting, is if they started gearing their development teams to make games based on the movies that are coming out that year. Because if they're going for a cinematic universe, you know that they're going to sit there and start doing at least one movie a year, if not two or more movies a year. But they're probably going to go for at least one because that seems to be their model. And they're going to try to go after uh, go after Marvel, at least in, in mimicking Marvel for how they're doing it. Uh, in fact, uh, this is what they say. If you look at Marvel, they started working when you had Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man and real filmmakers on board as well. What I think made the Avengers so great was the writing and directing. You cared about these characters. If you just chase the empty blockbuster, you have nothing to say in the genre. Forget about it. 
And that's true. And that could be very much said about the current iteration of Call of Duty fans, of Call, of Call of Duty games, I mean, right? Like, look at the response to Modern Warfare Remastered. People are like, oh, shit, yeah, because they liked the game. They liked the characters. And and anything past that, you, you don't really hear anyone talk about. So that's something, too, is establishing great characters in the franchise that can carry over between the cinematic, uh, you know, the cinematic experiences underneath the umbrella of that universe are key to moving forward. And these guys, they've got a writer's room. They're working on it. They just need to bring it all together. And I know a lot of people like to talk a lot of shit about these particular types of movies, about these particular types of cinematic experiences. But I, I'm curious to see what a video game cinematic universe set in the vein of Call of Duty could do. Because if done right, and let's be perfectly fair here, if done right, this could open the door to maybe just maybe getting some good video game movie adaptations, right? That aren't one-off cash cows or one-off cash grabs, I should say, uh, and everything else. And they're, 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 you know, they're going to dig their heels in and tell these stories and build up the fan base. And you know what? I'm there. I'm in, I'm, I'm in, I'm in like sin, baby. Uh, or in like Flynn. That's what I want to say. <laughs> and in like sin too. Screw it. Fuck it. Uh, it, to me, it sounds like a lot of fun. It's something I'm definitely interested to see where they go from here, but I am curious to know your guys' thoughts. Do you think that a call of duty cinematic universe, uh, would work? Do you think if they were to do adaptations, which ones would you like to see brought forward? Um, and, and, uh, would you be there opening day to check it out? Are you enough of a fan to want to go and see something like this on the big screen? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Matt Jarbo. This has been Three Buck Theater. I will talk to you guys later. If you haven't already, please thumbs up the video. Subscribe if you're new. Share this thing around. Let's get some conversation going on this motherfucker. And I'll talk to you all later. Have yourself a great day. Peace out.